No more waiting for the Northern Gateway Pipeline, at least as far as CN Rail is concerned. It says it can move all that Alberta crude from Alberta, of course, to the B.C. coast. And that has Canadians reacting online. So let's bring in our social media reporter, Gina Phillips. So mm. it's understandable, Alberta crude, it comes from Alberta, right, Gina? <laughs> yes, that does make sense for sure. <laughs> what do you have for us? Yeah, but you know what? A lot of people, uh, you know, sifting through the details of the story. And, uh, well, we've been waiting on this Northern Gateway Pipeline. And uh, there's always a huge debate about it online. So n I'm not surprised that this uh, n newly released uh, document that shows that CN Rail is considering this move uh, has a lot of people talking but also kind of upset mm -hmm. uh, many just waiting on this pipeline to be built uh, they all often they also feel that uh, it's not the safest way to do things and, and shipping that much oil could be incredibly dangerous especially since we're you know so fresh in our minds is the Lac Megantique disaster and I'm seeing a lot of people talk about that today and this is a topic of our web poll as well you can head to sundaysnetwork.ca that's our website uh, every day we have a poll thousands of people weighing in on this one we ask, which is the safer and more cost-efficient way to transport oil? Well, 97% of people agree that it is the pipeline. So, uh, yeah, some uneasy uh, feelings out there as far as C CN Rail is concerned. Oil pipelines like the Keystone XL still waiting for Obama's approval are far safer and more efficient than oil by rail. Okay, thank you, John. Paul says we have to stop this insane plan. Hannah, build the pipeline already. And the next uh, Lock Meg Antique. You can weigh in, as I said, uh, on our Facebook page or, or uh, in the web poll, sundaysnetwork.ca. But you can also email me at sun.force at sunmedia.ca. Anita? All right, very interesting. Thank you so much, Gina. All right, you're welcome. That is social media reporter Gina Phillips.